test the prophet, we need to engage five tests. And there are some funny people in Nigeria who call themselves prophets. They don't even know the meaning of prophecy. They are highly gifted, but you can't find the fragrance of Christ. The aroma of God is not there. The moment they begin to manifest, you see arrogance. Someone will tell you that he's prophesying, you are not spraying him money. That when he went to Italy and he was prophesying that these people were spraying him money. This video you are about to watch right now will reveal to you how to know and identify a fake prophet. We have gathered some facts about this from four great men of God. These men of God are Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye, Apostle Arome Osai, Apostle Mike Oropo, and Prophet Joel Ogebe. We hope after watching this video from these great men of God, you will know how to know and identify a fake prophet and also identify a true prophet of God. Before we move on, please kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, and drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get started. Let's watch and listen to what Pastor E.A. E. Adebuye have for us about how to know a fake prophet. Pastor E.A. E. Adebuye is the senior pastor of RCCG Redeemed Christian Church of God. And there are some funny people in Nigeria who call themselves prophets. They don't even know the meaning of prophecy. I'm not a prophet. But I know the way God speaks because he talks to me once in a while. I'm a pastor. I'm satisfied with that office. But when somebody says he's prophesying and he says three people are contesting for a post, if the first one wins, there'll be plenty of food. If the second one wins, there will be plenty to drink. If the third wins, there will be plenty to wear. That's not prophecy. That's conjecture. If God is the one speaking, eh? <laughs> he will tell you there are three people contesting, and this is the one who will win. That's the way God talks. There's no if or maybe. And then I explain that prophecy could come and there's something could happen along the way that could cause God to change his mind. He's the Almighty. He said, tell Eli, I said indeed that you and your father's house will stand before me forever. He said, but now, I said, be it far from me. I changed my mind. And if you don't like it, go and sue me. <laughs> He's the Almighty. He does as he pleases in heaven. Nobody can query him. Is the original majesty. But when it comes to a decree, oh. <laughs> we owe Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye do justice to this, but let's also further to listen to what Apostle Arume Osai have to say. To test a prophet, we need to engage five tests. One is the Bible test. That's the basic test. You can use the Bible to test your prophecy, but you cannot use your prophecy to test the Bible. No matter how anointed any one of us becomes, your utterance will not have as much authority as the Bible. So we still use the Bible to test it, if it's within the framework of truth. The second test is the fruit test. People that sit under this prophet, what do they become? Do they become lascivious people taken by immorality? It means the substance of what is being released as ministry is, is fornication. That's why that is the... Forget about the lingo. It, what does it produce? So we need to check the fruit test. Because the Bible says by their fruit. It, it said them. There is a them there. So if we check the product of what 
that kind of operation produces, then we can know what sort it is. We also have the spirit test, which is the inner discernment, the inner witness, the inner testimony of the Holy Spirit. And I tell you, that has been my escape route till this day. Something will not just be right inside. I can miss every other way, but this one, it won't just be right. And there's a way it can be, I will not be able to sleep. I say, ah, what is happening? Why are you offended? Then he will show me a sign. Sometimes, you know, I wanted to be ministerially right, so I accepted an invitation without checking. And by the time I arrived, I knew I was in the wrong place. I had to leave. I had to leave because I, I realized the way God was shaking inside of me, I can even die on that pulpit. So there's no need to be ministerially correct. Baba is not involved. So I want to be at peace with God, even though the whole world turns against me. So I had to walk away. And for two years, I was castigated as a devil. But the Holy Ghost inside of me rejoiced. <laughs> mm. Then we have the character-based tests. You can't tell me that you're a prophetic person and on ground you're a liar. A liar that needs God to touch his tongue. You know, Isaiah was a liar. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. My problem is my mouth. I have been able to keep breathing other parts of, of my entity, but my lips can go out of line. And the reason is because I'm a, a man that dwells among the people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the Lord. In order to commission him for, for ministry, what God did was that he sent the seraph. And this seraph, as mighty as it was, with six wings, and it only needed two for flight. This seraph came, and the coal of fire that was used to purge Isaiah, he could not take that coal with his hand. It had to use an instrument to show you how terrible that fire was. That a seraph could not take it. He used an instrument, he put it on the man's tongue, and cleansed him, and prepared him for prophetic ministry. There are people that need the seraph to visit they are not fit for prophetic ministry. I, there's a man like that I met. He, he lies with grace. It didn't flow. He just flows. He doesn't meditate on it. He comes out. And then I saw him on the people be don't say the law. Ah! No. The reason why I don't I can't recall what he said because I didn't hear it. I zip my heart instantly. If a generation comes where we do not believe that character is necessary, we have we been sold into darkness. I'm going to stop here because I want us to pray. He said, beware of Bela. That in the rise of the move of God that has already been activated, the ground has been prepared for. Apostle Mike Oropo also says something about this. They are highly gifted, but you can't find the fragrance of Christ. They are Mike Oropo also says something about this. They are highly gifted, but you can't find the fragrance of Christ. The aroma of God is not there. The moment they begin to manifest, you see arrogance. The prophet shows up, an elderly person comes, lay down. He lays hands on the elderly person. Sometimes they are cleaning his shoe. He said they are, they, are, they are respecting grace. You can't see the character of Jesus. Your shoe must not be clean for the person to be blessed. Ministry today, they use men. You see a man of God saying, my son, my son, is because he's bringing him honor and glory and seed. They use men. And that's why young ministers cannot rise in this generation. They cut them off. A man of God will prophesy that you will fail. He will go back and engineer your failure. And then he will come back and say, God dealt with him. It's a lie. I've been here for a while. You don't know what is happening. Then Prophet Joel Okibi also has something to say. Whenever you want to know a fraudster, he will preach happenings that do not serve as authority within the Christian space, it will preach it to keep you ensnared. Our example is not Noah, are we together? Our example are the apostles of Jesus. Our example is Christ. We never found in scriptures that Christ drank and he became naked. So why are you using Noah now to drink Gouda? In fact, you become an ambassador of Gouda. They buy the bottle for God's servant and then they put it inside glass cup, then cover it with a lid. Then he will look at the spear, he will signify like this. The spear understands with the body of Christ in this season it's not to eradicate false prophets God does not want to eradicate false prophets 
no matter how, how, how much I preach, the aim of the Lord is not to eradicate false prophets. God wants to cause a distinction between his house and the false house. Anyone who sees in the spirit and who knows the plans of God can go and test this thing I've said in prayer. God's current emphasis with his body and with the prophetic house is to cause a clear distinction. That's all he wants to do. This is why he's calling his prophets to a different way, down to the way we dress, down to the way we present ourselves, to cause a visible, clear distinction between those that are off his house and those that are off the false house. And that clear distinction is going to put a sword in each man's hand. And the one who has chosen to stand with God will perpetually be against the house that has chosen to come against God. That's what God wants to do. So if you truly want to walk in the ordinances of ministry from God's perspective, especially in this end time, when the world is saying marry, you will say divide. Meanwhile, Satan's plan for the end time is to marry. This thing I'm telling you, the Lord showed me by spirit. The Bible says in the end of days, they will marry and what? We hope now you can differentiate between a fake prophet and a true prophet of God. May God help us and grant us the sounding spirit to know whether a prophet is fake or whether a prophet is true prophet. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video and don't forget to share. Thank you.